Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, I'm going to call this episode Back to the Grind because we've got lots of things to make and it seems to take forever. So, I think the first thing I was trying to do was to make this block of wood, which really wasn't a block of wood but was a 16k storage and it's going to take a long time. And it actually blocked. So I was looking at why it did block and I have got no idea. I think at the moment it's okay, let's kind of look at it. So it should be crafting these, which is good, and making some story in there. So that looks as it got all right. Last time it got stuck on the logic processes. It, it basically said it was crafting the, the circuits, and I went down to look at the machine, and nothing was happening. So that was a bit strange. So that's all. Is that the only one that's doing stuff at the moment? Yeah, I'll put this one back in again. So we're making some more coal chunks. And those are the two recipes which are running. So if we come back over here now, we should see into here this chest all of these bits and pieces, which is great. Now the first thing I'm going to do today is to automate something else, but very in a very primitive way. Now I think I might have what I'm looking for in one of our chests. It might be. I'm looking for a hopper to be honest with you. I've got to remember I've got those bits there. That will save some time. Nope, I don't know. See any hoppers around in there? All right, we'll quickly craft a hopper. Good. So what I'm going to do this time is we'll shall carry on with this here. If you remember rightly, last time I'd automated this a little bit manually, but we can do better than that. So what we can do now? Let's get the other pickaxe out so probably the better one to use let's move this out of oops to want to do that I want to do it like this let's just remove this block here in fact I think I'll put it underneath this one like that so I'm going to put down I think I'll put down a chest here just for the sake of it have oh, we got a chest around I think we've got plenty of chests actually get yeah, 31 I'm just going to put it down like this. On that. Oops, can't do it. Yeah, of course, because these are basically... The problem with um, hoppers, they have a full hitbox, so you can't put things... You've got to be careful how you put things down. So what I really want now is to put this other hopper onto the back of this one like this. Like that. So that will feed into the into this chest. If I can open it, I suppose I'll, I'm going to put, I want to put this back, but of course I can't. Hmm. Let's move the chest a bit. Maybe I'll just put it out here. Take that one off so we can get get at the chest and put these two walls, these floors back down here. So now, let's go and make some soul sand. We've got tons of sand. That process is working quite nicely. Let's come down here and we'll put it into this hopper up here. One stack will then make a stack of. I think I've still got it all set up, just have a look. So I just put in the stack into here like that, and that'll start to make soul sand. It's got witch water coming from here, which is the end of tank linked to the outside bit. And the outside bit, I haven't shown you, I did a little bit of work, but not really with that. I was seeing, I was looking at what happened when I put this um, the witch water down in, into this mob grinder. But it doesn't work very well. Now here's a skeleton. Now watch what happens to the skeleton. I think it'll fall into the witch water. See, there? it works quite nicely for the um, creeper. But with the skeleton, it doesn't turn into a... Um, what well, with the skeleton. So that's not going to help very much. I can actually just drop some sulfur there, by the looks like. So I think it's probably worth our removing that. I don't know what's been going on with these bits. Let's see that. Should have been picked up by now. Good. What I did is here, I created this. To see if any squids would spawn. They probably don't spawn on the moon, so let's just have a look. Anything being caught in here? Nothing. That was a fail. So we can't spawn those. But what I did do here is I basically put some tanks and these water tanks in. Now what's quite nice about these tanks, 
think these are finished. Yes, they are good. We can actually break these. That one's got a bit of water in it. Just gonna break them. One more, more. We should just break that one. Put that one, the one that won't stack here, because it's got a drop of water in it. Put it down here, and then we can pick it up as well. Now, what's nice about these? You see, I've now got seven tanks here. If I want to fill these up with water, I can do them in one go, which is great. So let's go and do that. And I'll show you how. I can put all these tanks in here, select whatever I want, so water. Put all the tanks in here, and they all get filled up and stacked together. And I think that's really cool, put them back again, I need the water for the time being. And you can do that with anything, so you get a lot of anything, in any one, and each one of these is basically 16, 16 buckets. Right, so now we should have the soul sand made. Let's have a look at the soul sand. Got 36, that'll do. I'm gonna I'm only gonna do about four of these actually. So we need our gold fluid pattern and we also I'm gonna take one block of obsidian. Why obsidian? Actually. So what we can do with this now is we can we can reasonably automate this. So what I can do is I could put into here the salt sand and I actually put the block of obsidian in it as well. And you'll see why. So now I can basically touch this and then put the gold into that. That's good to pour gold into here, make the um, soli solarium, which is going to come out here, like that. And when it's finished, instead of putting a gold plate down, I'm going to put the block of obsidian. So that gives us a chance then to clear the gold off and take the block of obsidian out like this. In fact, I can leave it in there. I'll use an empty hand to do it. <laughs> yeah, you could take it off. I can leave it in there so the next time we want to do it, we just take it out and put it as the last item. But then, you see, as you see, those four solarium got made quite quickly. So that's a trick. I think that's quite good. I was wondering how to stop it processing before it did everything. Okay. So, next trick. Well, I haven't got one yet. I have to think of one quick. We're still making these circuits. Now this one, this time, it looks like it's got already prepared for two of these. Or even three. Yeah, I would say that's definitely two. It's actually filled all of this stuff up here. So we've now got a full stack of coal chunks. So the next thing we want to do so you want to start automating more of the um, holes. So, for example, if you ever want to make this, and I'm not sure I do because it's 16 machine steel machine holes, that's going to be an absolute challenge. Do so we need 32 chunks? That's no big deal. Let's get on with the advanced alloy. Now, this is a crafting recipe followed by a compression recipe. So, iron plates, bronze plates, and tin plates. That shouldn't be too difficult. Let's get some. Let's set up the recipes for this. So iron, first of all, we only need, well, actually we'll take two, bronze, I've already got two plates, that's good, we'll have one plate and we'll have one ingot, what was the other, tin was it, I think it was tin, if not, Double check it before I think, before we go too far. That's what I was. I know it's in this one. Steel holes. Yes, tin, bronze, and iron. Okay. So what we're going to do next is set up those recipes. In fact, let's get on with that one first of all. We've basically got twelve patterns. That's enough. So we can say that one ingot here is going to make one plate, bronze plate. That'll do one. Now the next one we're going to clear that off and we're going to do say let's do an iron one. So we'll take one iron and we'll keep the tin here. So we'll do one iron and one tin. Let's get those compressed to plates. So that's this one I think. 
yep and it's in rolling mode good so basically what I want to do is put in one tin and one iron like that and those are the three ingredients that we need to make that so let's go and come over here and finish those two recipes off so let's look for plates iron oh, actually already got that's dense iron we've already got a lot of let a lot of iron plates let's put one in there so that's an ironing it makes one of those good remove that and the tin one next I think we only had one tin plate so that's fine so we can then go downstairs and put these into the metal former that I've got set up and I think that's nope that's the compression one metal former is this one here so I've got I've already got a pattern for tin don't need to do that one so it was then bronze and it was I think it was bronze and iron like that so we can now make those plates I can clear this one off we'll do that in a second and then we need to set up some so we get a crafting recipe for that let's just clear this off let's come over here and order nine of each of these in fact I've probably got nine iron plates anyway let's look So you've got one tin plate, so let's order another eight of those. Start that. Bronze plates, we've got 146, so we need another eight of these. That gives me my nine. There's my tin plates. And then the iron plates, that's dense, ordinary iron. Nine. Oh, hold on, I need three of each, don't I? Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I can press plates, I think. So, right, now. Let's see what we're doing. So, it's three iron, three bronze, and three tin. So let's set this recipe up. It's just a straightforward crafting recipe. If we can get the crafting recipe out here, clear that off. So, it's three iron three bronze and the order is important by the way three tin and that will make two of those which is great so let's go and put that down now into the crafting oh do you know we're gonna have to do something else we're gonna have to first of all make a molecular assembler because the crafting's all full so let's do that as well is it fuel slash air yeah um and then we want molecular assembler this one which is a crafting recipe we might even be able to do this actually so all we need is one four pieces of wood planks take that out of there let's get it out like that. let's put that into the middle of this I'm not going to make a recipe for this because it's fairly straightforward and we've got an, an, an ME interface here so we can go downstairs and get that prepared you can see I've got a nice bundle of these now so here so what we can do with this we could either put it beside this one which actually is probably not such a bad idea or we can put an, an ME interface after that. So we could put it there and then we could put another ME interface here. And then it, it'll share. So whatever's in this one, which has got the, which has actually got the storage bus on it, which is the block of the line, will actually be shared between these two molecular assemblers. I think that's not too bad actually. Let's do it like that. And then in this one, we're going to put in this pattern to make that. So we can then order a couple of these, which we will do because then we're going to put those into the compressor the one of them into the compressor then that was alloy wasn't it what's it called mixed alloy I'm sure it's called mixed alloy oh, mit mixed metal huh. so we craft one of those basically we gives you two and that won't take very long. I'll put these back in there actually. So now we've got two. So what we're going to do is compress one and take the other one upstairs. 
let's shove that in the compressor over here then we've got the recipe ready for that one so so I've only got eight cover clocks and you should see how fast that is it's very fast now hardly getting used at all so let's put that into the pattern now change it again from crafting to process pattern and so basically what we're saying is one of those will make a plate which I've got I've got 31 already Okay, so I'll make one of those. So now we can craft those on demand. So let's get that put into this ME interface here. So we've still got three more spare slots in that one. Oh. Where's my bronze plate pattern gone to? Did I not put it in? Did I shift click it in the wrong place or something like that? Let's have a look again. Nope, that's the wrong one. I seem to have lost my bon bon bronze plate pattern, never mind. Let's just maybe I didn't put maybe I didn't click it and take it out. Okay, that's the big deal. Let's click that off. Let's put that in there. We know we've got bronze plates anyway, so let's go that's probably this one here that's jumping around. <laughs> Well, what's coming in here that's making that <laughs> right good you can always check actually you can look through here if you want to be sure and make see if I've got it anywhere else I don't think I would have I'll put it in the metal former does that work of course, I put it in metal former. Oh. I just gonna put the other one in the wrong place. Oh well, at least I found that out before trying to make any. This is a compressor, isn't it? Oh, I do need this in the compressor. Yes, that's right. That makes the mix a lot easier in the compressor. Hmm. Getting myself confused. Right. So now we can let's see if we can actually make some of those. So these were the at. Uh, alloy plates aren't they we'll mix alloy plates where's it gone to I can't see it for trying where's my plate gone do you know what's it called the wrong one this one, I want this one. Advanced alloy. So I now can craft these ones. So let's craft um, 33. Start that one. Should actually make 34. It, oh no, it'll make 33 and leave one in there. That's good. If I could actually move that one in there, it would have made 32. So now we have, it's going to craft these, and that won't take too long before that actually starts working. Arrow floating must be a skeleton getting ground downstairs. There we go. So that's that bit done. Next one. Let's go and work on those compressed copper things as well. Oh, uh, carbon. So. steel holes we need to make the carbon plates so we basically need four carbon dust can I bring that in there no I can't let's go upstairs because I'm gonna have to go to the right machine to do all this anyway let's get to the pattern machine we've got enough patterns just we've got eight so now and that was coal dust wasn't it good we craft four of these now I think we're going to craft 16 and hopefully the other process patterns are not going to take them away from me so I'm going to do is steal, keep stealing them as they come through at least until I get four you see I just saw one disappear then come back come back actually I don't need to worry about that do I 
this is a crafting pattern, so let's have one of those. Onto that. Let's go downstairs and put that in because we're going to need two of these. Got seven. Right, we've got the ten. Let's do that. Actually, let's make these because. Can't take them out because there's none in the system. Right, okay, fair enough. But I can craft those on myself, can't I? Yep. Oops, wrong one. I'll put that back in here. Don't need those now. So then we can take... I've taken that pattern out of there. Good. So the next one is two of these together. And that makes that one, which we'll also take down. It's another crafting pattern. And then we can make from that can't do it in there let's just do it in here now we've got a process pattern to make let's clear that off select the process pattern in here so basically one of those is going to make our compressed carbon stuff so let's go downstairs and put implement that one and get it running so we've got this one and this one so now let's then come over here and put this one in the compressor like that and that makes a carbon plate which we can go upstairs and then we can ask those to be crafted You're wrong way so now let's have a look for this compressed carbon here we go so that's this recipe done so we have to go and put actually I don't have to go downstairs to do that do I I could put that down here into the compressor if I can find it there we go like that so now we can come along here and order 32 carbon we'll order 31 because we've got the one there I'll start to make those. In fact, there's no reason now, of course, why I can't come along here and put this into this filter here, like that, and then take this one and put one of those in here. And then that'll start to make these automatically. So we'll just end up with a stack of those, which will be good. So look what's what's going on here. So that's crafting the CPUs to make this one piece of wood. I think that's funny. This one's basically still making these compressed carbons, and this one's starting to do the the thirty thirty one of these. In fact, it's actually doing it fairly fast. Good. So the last thing we need to do is make these machine parts. Um. Let's have a look, what do we need from the machine parts? We can clear this one off. So bedrock in, that's going to be a pain. This one we've got recipe set up for, and this one here. So we need 32 silicon and 32 dent refined. Let's see if we've got 32 silicon. And we actually got those already made up, fantastic. And then we want dense refined. I need 32 of these. And of course, no crafting CPU is available because we're busy crafting all sorts of other stuff. Okay, let's press escape and let's see how far we're getting with our crafting stuff. Yep. Yeah. Because this one's going to keep making until it's finished doing this. But this one's just. Actually, this is also going to carry on doing its stuff, isn't it? This is pulverizing coal. Let's go and check that pulverizer. And in the moat process, let's remember to take where have they gone to? These three speed upgrades in there just in case that pulverizer that I'm using for the coal is not maxed out. Good question as to where I've put it. Because <laughs> I can't remember. It's definitely not along there, is it? 
That's an auto crafter. For Do you know, I don't know where I've put that. That's a slice and dice. Oh, this one here. Okay, good. It looks like from the speed of it's already maxed out. So it's in fact what's happening here is it's not coming in fast enough. But I can't. I can't speed that up. Never mind. I might have finished this actually. Let's have a look. Nope, still busy. Can't do much about this. It's just going to stick here. Why is that stuck? Oh, it's working still. Okay, well, I can't do anything about that. So that. Oh, well, I could cancel it, couldn't I? And hopefully make the refined plates in the. Let's just do that. Let's just cancel this task. We'll go along here and let's see if we can make that fast enough. Yes, I could just do that in time, I reckon, because it's going to come. It's going to kick in from the other one anyway. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's what makes sense. Well, that was actually moving, wasn't it? I wasn't just checking. This one doesn't look okay. You see here, it's trying to do 68 printed calculation circuits. Now, I'll bet you over, and on these machines here, it hasn't got the 68 pure surface quartz in here. I think it's, what's happening is they're getting stolen. Let me just check the configuration on here. This is making silicon, isn't it? I'm going to turn this one off so it doesn't have any any possibility of sending materials into here because I don't know what would happen. It'd probably just create dust, wouldn't it? It might even work. Let me just check that because then I can figure it out. Gold was one of the things we were missing last time. So look. Nope, I have got no gold dust here, that's okay. Anyway, let's carry on with this one and make the piece of wood again. No crafting CPUs available. Because why? Because it's still making these. I need to cancel this one, don't I? Okay, good. So let's try that again then. But that was actually too fast. I didn't see what it was doing. But she should be alright. No, I can see easily enough, can't we? So this time it's making these 66. Or 68. Should be 68. It's crafting 27. Yeah, that makes 68, doesn't it? 27 plus 41 makes 68. So they're going to come out. They're basically being pushed into the into this machine over here, crystal growth chamber. And as you can see, what happens? They grow up, get taken out, and seeds get put in place. But they're not stackable for some reason or other. And I don't think you can have a stack upgrade on A2 stuff anyway. So that's not going to work unless, of course, you put it into a chest or something like that first of all, and then you can put a stack upgrade feeding it between the chest that would work but it's not something that I'm going to be doing all the time is it so let's have a look. that one's working that one's working and this one's working so these should be working now they should be making these and in fact it looks like it is but it's the second time I've seen this do this and I'm not sure why so anyway so what we're after were these report port these parts, weren't we? Dense refined iron. And now we've got our 32. 
So this one and this one is going to make these parts. So let's get that set up in the recipe here. So 32 of these dense refined iron plus 32 of these is going to make one machine part. Let's go downstairs and get that out, sorted out into this machine here. This goes into this machine. Like that. And that will be quite slow because I've got no overclockers in here. Let's go and pinch some of these overclockers, like all of them. They should also work in here. Difficult to see if that's actually making any difference to the speed. Mm, doesn't look like it is making a difference to the machine, but it's making a difference in here, all right. Okay, we'll have to just leave that for a few seconds. And then we'll finish that recipe off. And then that's the only other thing we've got to do is bedrockium. Whoa. I, should... I do not like making bedrockium because it's a very heavy use of resources. But in these chests here, we've got armor and things coming in. I've been keeping a track of this, actually. I've been mending bits as it goes along. So, for example, I've got some complete helmets. I should be able to process those in some way or other. Let's have a look for the uses of that. Well, yes, I can smelt it into gold. And that's a, that gives me a source of gold. Not much, but better than nothing, isn't it? And the bows are just take out of here like this and just put those together. And then I think I can decompose these bows into two other useful things. And being a bit sort of and they put them in there again. But these are quite good. You get some good. I've got a reasonably decent bow now. Power four. I'm breaking two. This one's on breaking three and soul bound one. I could mix those two together. I've got a couple of power twos which would make another power three. Power one. An auto smelt. An auto smelt. That's a strange one for a bow. I'm not sure what that does. Uh, if you shoot sand does it turn it into glass I don't know interesting I'll test it out a bit I think <laughs> hmm and this one up here with other bits and pieces so it's got some leather and some chain mail that's quite a good it's one of these particular things had a really good set of enchants on it it was like four really good ones I was going wow Protection, projectile, protection for last stand two. Unstable one, protection three. There's some. Some of these are really good. Anyway, I'm not sure which one it was now. Right. Here. So I've got some quintuple and some quadruple compressed cobblestone. Let's take the co quadruple compressed cobblestone out of there. Go up here and then see what we can do with these. What I basically want to do is I want to unpack one of these to give me triple compressed. And then diamonds. I've got 19 blocks of diamonds. We don't have a recipe for blocks of diamonds. We can do that in a second. So let's see if this plate is now ready. Um, machine parts, isn't it? Yeah, we got one of these. So basically we put that in there, make the pattern, we've got that pattern. Let's clear that off. Now let's change this to this and we'll make one of these. The recipe for that is this. Oops. Oh, I want to do that in mind. I wanted the recipe really, didn't I? So I'll clear that off. So then, I think it's a recipe triple compressed. So let's have a look at the uses of this stuff. And basically it's the bedrocky mingot I think is what we need. So let's just shift click that in there. So now we have one more. And that's a crafting recipe. So let's go down. Actually let's clear that off. I 
could do that again actually. Let me have a look at that cobblestone. Because what I've got in here is these quadruple compressed. Let's have a look. I'll take a triple, triple compressed and look for the recipe for this. So basically it's this one. So I can take this recipe over here. Because what I'm getting out of the system is quadruple compressed. I think I think that might be the best way to do it. I'm not 100 sure. So let's go and put these recipes down here into the pattern uh, ME interface. So we've got block of gold. We have got that one and the bedrock in ingots. So at least we can order those now. This one over here, by the way, it goes into this ME interface on this one. So we can now start to order ME parts like that. So what I'm going to do next time is I shall probably going to stop now, actually, because it's 36 minutes. It's to set up the recipe for the bedrockium uh, ingot. And hopefully we'll be able to do a craftable recipe for a machine for steel machine holes. Because we're going to need a few. Anyway, until then, I'm going to say bye for now.